Bart. 88. Offense. He that's the the one thing the about play. Ryko is when, he is, when he knows he's going to start and he gets all the repetitions during the week, he seems to be more successful. When he has to come in off the bench, he is not as effective uh, as, at quarterback as when he starts. And he knows he's going to start. Because, obviously, during the course of the week, the starter gets 70 to 80 percent of the, the reps. Well, his record as a starter bears it out. Six up and two down as a starter, including two wins in the playoffs. It's a first and 15. Thomas off the handoff with a short pickup. Urban Thomas stopped by William Thomas. Been a very strong game for the outside linebacker, William Thomas. This team, the Philadelphia Eagles, their pursuit to the ball is incredible. I mean, if you take a look at that last play with Thurman Thomas, there were six guys actually making the tackle. And the word on Jim Kelly, he sprained his ankle. He is getting retake. And the Bills expect that he will return. Second and 13 and right brought down again. It is number 51, William Thomas. Talk about Pete Metzelaar's having a record-breaking day. William Thomas is having a record-breaking day. <laughs> this is probably the best game he's ever played. And he is just outstanding. He comes from the outside. Not enough people to block. Actually, nobody even touches him. There's not enough people in the backfield to block. Thurman Thomas was coming out on a route. You'll see him come out to the left. Now look on the other side. There's nobody to block. When Metzelaar releases, Thomas releases, he's there. The Eagles come up with their second sack for the game. Thomas is three and a half now for the season. It's a third and 18, and Wright finds an open. Well, he thought he had an open man. It's broken up. McMillan almost picked it off. The pass intended for BB. He had BB wide open. He had BB beyond McMillan and in front of the safety man. But when he threw the ball, he threw the ball short. And McMillan gets back. Watch McMillan cover. Now, see, he releases him to the safety. The safety is back there. It's in a perfect position, but McMillan gets there. Wes Hopkins is the safety coming over. BB sets up right in the right spot. Didn't have enough on the ball. And Steve Christie will try from 51 yards away. Christie having a difficult day. Line drives it. This one is not good. Three for three to the left. Every kick he's made is gone. He's hooked it left. Oh for three. Two from long range teammates trying to provide confidence for Christie, who earlier this season hit from 59 yards out. And, you know, we saw him out there at halftime. He got out a little early with the holder and the center. And here it is. Let's just see what happens. That's Frank Reich holding. The ball is perfect. He's just hooking everything. I mean, that didn't even have a chance. What? This, well, it looks like it's close there, but it's not. It really wasn't. Here is the hole. The strings are downfield where they're supposed to be. Everything is fine. He doesn't slip. He just hooks it. Three for three. Same spot. So the Eagles take over. 54 seconds remaining third quarter. Philadelphia seven. Five it all. Nothing. Sherman. Stopped by Bruce Smith. What a play by Daryl Talley, though. Ted Kelly's up again. You're not going to keep him out of there. They taped him up. He's ready to go. Darrell Talley at that time just came in and took on Herschel Walker, stood him straight up. Sherman, he Sherman had no place to run, and Bruce Smith made the play. What has happened to Hebron? We have not seen him in the second half. The song briefly, I, I have a feeling that Rich Gotai uh, was not thrilled with those cutbacks. Uh, he, was, he was losing yardage. Walker again. Extracurricular activity following the catch. Nine catches, 103 yards for Herschel. That was Bavaro, a little extra stuff downfield with Goganius, number 50. And now time has run out in this third quarter. Eagles with a 7 0 lead over the Bills. by authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the NFL is prohibited.
Marv Albert, Paul McGuire from Veteran Stadium, Philadelphia. On to the fourth quarter on a very cold day here in Philadelphia. The Eagles with a 7-0 lead on Buffalo. It's a third down and one. Briscoe off the play action has Walker again. And it's an Eagle first down. 11th catch for Herschel Walker. I love the play calling on third down and short yardage. The, the, the Bills did it through the Metzelars. This time, Bobby Brister and the Philadelphia Eagles, they do the same thing. A little play action. Herschel out into the flat. Linebacker Goganius is out there with him, but Herschel already has the first down. Make that his 10th catch, as you saw. Herschel Walker. Setting up the first down. to time Herschel has had fumble problems it was Marcus Patton on the recovery yeah but it was Cornelius Bennett on the hit he gets by Anton Davis watch Cornelius Bennett he throws Davis away and then reaches in and knocks the ball away from Herschel Walker again the handoff with the wrong hand as far as I'm concerned the handoff is there but Cornelius Bennett with the hit Anton Davis just does not make the block and Cornelius Bennett makes the hit Marcus Patton Gets the fumble. Do it again. Do hear a lot. So the Buffalo Bills have taken over. Jim Kelly is back at quarterback. And Kelly with protection getting the long look through. And it's broken up. McMillan getting a piece of it. It was intended for B.B. B.B. was saying he's holding the back of my shirt. If the flag isn't there, you're not going to get it. Kelly gets another shot. Kelly has a lot of time to throw. There's Parker out in front. Uh, Kelly sits and sits and waits, and then there's the shot there. And then at the end, where is the hand? Is the hand on his back? There's officials all the way around. I wouldn't call that pass interference. I thought it was a good play. Second and ten. Kelly completing. He's limping again. I mean, he's just taking shot after shot. Four, he's that time number 95 again on the hit. That the sixth catch of the day for Bill Brooks. Here goes Kelly. Throws and he's hit. And they and, and they grab his leg again. I mean, he's just getting smashed. But they're also grabbing on and they're twisting his ankle. You want to find out how tough he is? Just watch it. It's a third and four at the 43. Minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Almost intercepted by William Thomas. What a game he has played. If there's such a thing as a player of the game, they don't have one, I guess, each week. But I know his teammates will give it to him on defense. It's got to be William Thomas. Times this perfectly. The pass by Kelly. Thomas is right there. He jumps up and, and gets both hands on it. So the Buffalo Bills, following that fumble recovery, not able to take advantage. Chris Moore will punt from his 42-yard line. Sikahama with the fair catch. 13-22 remaining in the fourth. Pell on NBC is brought to you by Oldsmobile. By Generex with conditioners, the serious dandruff shampoo. By the Schick ST Razor, we're changing the face of shaving. And by Coca-Cola Classic, always the real thing, always Coca-Cola. The, the two quarterbacks, Jim Kelly, 17 of 27, 210 yards. Bobby Brister, 19 for 32, 190. And the only score, the 19-yard touchdown pass to a wide-open Calvin Williams. Back to the crowd for Herschel Walker. Right back to the same play he fumbled on. That time, Phil Hansen makes the tackle. There's some numbers for you, huh? The rushing department not doing too well, 27 yards, but on the pass receiving department. It's, uh, do I figure that right? Ten, a little over 10 a catch? Pretty good, you know. Oh, that is I'm the Citadel graduate. Well, I actually did graduate. Second down and 10. Brister able to get it away. Incomplete. 
side and chatted 